Some actual Hogwarts Legacy news has been released in the form of accessibility options. Why is this important? Because now people with physical difficulties have information that's relevant to them and they can now make an informed decision on whether or not they can enjoy this game too. And there's also some good stuff in here for those of us who don't typically have these sort of challenges. Hi everyone, welcome to the Flu Fighter channel where we're exploring the wizarding world through Hogwarts Legacy and other Harry Potter media. Accessibility options, if you're not aware, are options in a game that can be adjusted to accommodate players who have disabilities or other difficulties while gaming, such as color blindness or auditory issues. The Portkey Games website shared a list of the accessibility features for Hogwarts Legacy. Let's go over some of them now. One of the most common accessibility features in games is a colorblind mode, and thankfully Hogwarts Legacy will have this as well. The mode will edit most of the user interface and the HUD and tailor them to three different types of colorblindness. The link will be in the description so you can check it out for yourself because I'm not even going to try to pronounce these names. The features also include text-to-speech narration for menu navigation and individual volume controls for the music, sound effects, and dialogue, which isn't uncommon, but it's nice that it's been confirmed. They go on to list around 20 options for players to choose from, including some that pertain specifically to me, which include being able to adjust or completely turn off camera shake. This is an option that I honestly really, really like in games. I know it can add to the immersion for some players, but it just bothers me. Another one on the list that I am selfishly happy about is the follow camera speed, which is when the camera angle changes to follow which direction the player is moving. Being able to speed this up or slow this down can really help people who get motion sickness easily, like me. It always sends me kind of wonky when the camera is weird. I highly recommend everybody who's interested in these things to check them out and see if something that you might struggle with is taken care of. That'll do it for me. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a like as this is a brand new channel and it helps a great deal. Also consider subscribing. I've got a lot of fun things planned for the future and I'll see you at Hogwarts.